Now, our grown-up friends out there who are very excited to hear yes. that I was coming to, right. to talk to you. So, rightly or wrongly, we asked them for questions. And or, boy, did they send questions. Go on then. Which episode of Old Jack is your favourite? I've enjoyed practically all of them. I haven't even got an unfavourite one. No, sorry. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> so, watch all the series. What has been your most memorable role so far in your career? Oh my goodness. How long have you got? Well, I, some I, of these if questions... I, if I had to choose yeah. um, a stage production, it would be taking part in Guys and Dolls at the National Theatre on the Olivia stage, wow. directed by Richard Eyre, with a wonderful cast. The, the book is marvellous, the score is terrific, the lyrics are great. It was perfect, and I used to run to get to work to do that. We did about 80 that. performances, and that was the Olivia. And one scene in particular where I had to come on up stage left and walk down to a phone box down right, and it's about 300 yards across that Olivia stage. You know, it is huge. Yeah. And you come on, and there's 1,500 people, whatever it is, and there's just you and them. You come on, oh, wow. And you've got the suit on you down there. Hello, Louis, listen. Wonderful. That would be my favourite production. Now, here's a funny one. Who is the better companion, Salty Dog or David Tennant? Well, David doesn't slobber quite so much. <laughs> Are uh, you sure? Uh, I'm positive, yes. <laughs> no, David, David was great to work with. He was lovely. I compared him to David Niven, another gen wow. gentleman I work with. Totally professional and so is Salty. Good. I can't split them, really. Come on, sorry, it. Sorry, Davy. <laughs> <laughs> right, said Fred, both of us together, one each end and steady as we go. Did Right, said Fred, ever get what he was trying to get up the stairs, up the stairs? Um, I'll tell you the story of that, shall I? Yes. I'd done a hole in the ground for George Martin, which went boom into the charts. Yeah. And the boys who wrote it, Ted and Miles, they then wrote, right, said Fred. Now, Ted was living at the time on the third floor of a tenement block somewhere, in Pimlico, I think it was. Um, and with some of the money that he got from Hole in the Ground, he bought a basement flat, or moved into a basement flat in Islington, bought a small piano from Harrods with some of the money, and Harrods arrived with the green baize aprons and the bowler hats. Mr. Dix, yes, uh, we've got your piano. Where's it go? Uh, it's down here. What? <laughs> we'll never get it down there. It was lit that was the start of Right Said Fred. And they literally took off this and they took off that for absolute real and going whoop, down the steps to get it into this basement flat. Miles Rudge, who wrote the lyric, got this story, thought it was funny, and <laughs> concocted Right Said Fred. Do you know Fred. what? That, that is a it beaut. So Charlie and me had another cup of tea and then we went home. What's old Jack's favourite sea creature? Um, I think he might have a fairly soft spot for hermit crabs. Really? Yeah, some sort of, you know, reclusive sort of thing, a bit like himself. Ah, Perhaps. right, yeah. Possibly. Nice. OK. And last question. Out of all the roles you've played, which role have you enjoyed most or are you most proud of? I'm proud of a lot of the stuff that I've done, I must say. That's a um, tough question. Uh, it is a silly question in a way because, <laughs> well, well, you enjoy all of it, don't you? Or you enjoy some of it less than the rest of it. Um, I don't think I can answer that at all. I've enjoyed so much of it and I'm still enjoying it. I'm enjoying this old fella as well. Our grown-up community out there, the very first thing they said was to send you their love and, Thank you. and tell you how much you are still loved and appreciated. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. The legend, the living legend that legend. is Bernard Cribbins. He's a legend, you know. <laughs> Thank you so much.